Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Paradox, as you guys know by now, and we are the Romans, marching on with Bath City in League 2. The month is now October, and as I said last time, I did tell you I'd give you an update on transfers. And that is what we have. It's not really much of a surprise, but we got the two boys that we wanted. We got Ryan Winterlin. Look at that. Perfect lad. Really good for us. I, I think he's a great catcher for this club. 23 years old as well, so he could be with us for a long time. And you're going to see that we've already been putting these two into action, actually. And you'll see how well they've been doing so far. And you can judge whether they're worth it or not. We also got Mazier, Kuya. Uh, not as big for me as Wintel. I think Wintel is the better player. But we did need um, another midfielder with a bit more class to him. And mazier has got a lot more to him than our other midfielders. It was nice to bring him back in. He's been with us the last three seasons. He has international play as well. So I think he's a pretty good player. Though I think he was a little bit expensive. And the problem with this is that we now have no more wage budget at all. They both cost all of our wage budget, basically. Which is frustrating because I feel we needed one more defender. It would have been nice to have got one more left back or central defender. Or ideally, one that can play both. That would not be a big deal because Dan Ball can play both. But sadly, we'll not be able to get that. I'm hoping maybe by January, maybe the board might increase our, tr our wage budget, possibly. If not, we're just going to try and make do with what we got. Just got to be really careful with our defenders. And let's go over what's happened in the last month. At the moment, we are 14th. So still doing really nicely. Still in the middle of the table. And we're now six points away from that relegation zone. So really happy about that. Two goal difference. I think that's pretty good. I think we're doing very nicely. The last month has been really weird. It's been incredibly weird. And you're going to see exactly why that is. So obviously, last time you guys saw, we obviously played against, who was it? We played against North? No, it wasn't Northampton. It was Bristol Rovers, wasn't it? Yes, it was Bristol Rovers in the end. Feels like a long time ago. We managed to win 2-1. A great result for the team. After that, we played against Rockdale. Rockdale are always going to be a tough team in this league. And they beat us 3-2. Really good game, actually. The, the players played really well, seeing as this was Rockdale. I thought it would be quite a difficult match for us. They scored, then they scored a second goal. They were 2 0 up, and Junior, continuing his great work, great run, scores a goal to make it 2 1. Then they scored another goal, making it 3 1. And Ryan Wintle scored his first goal in his first game back at the club. He comes back for one game, and he's already scored. That shows you what Wintle's about. I think he is an awesome player. But we weren't able to get another goal to try and bring it to free all, sadly. The players tried really hard at the end there. They just couldn't snatch a late equaliser. After that, though, we played against Doncaster. And in this game, we managed to draw two all. Doncaster were not doing very, very well at this point in the league. They were quite low down. So I was hoping we could get a win here, but it wasn't meant to be. You can see here, they scored the first goal. Uh, then they scored the second goal. So it was 2-0. Then Ryan uh, Wintle scored a second goal. A second goal in the second game. And then Junior scored as well, making it 2 all. And it kind of stayed like that. So we got a nice little draw there. Look at that, 7,000 fans there for Doncaster. So Wintle and Junior just really telling League 2 that they are here. And they are here to score goals. They work so well together, those two. After that, we played against Leighton Orient. And in this game, we managed to draw again free all. Um, this was at home. We got 1,900 attendance. As you can see there, we're always getting nice attendance. Our attendance is going to be extremely high this season. Almost 100%. You know, probably about 90% the attendance is probably going to be about, which is really nice to see. Hopefully, they'll be able to expand. Honestly, if we can make money this season, maybe they can expand the stadium next season, possibly. Uh, what happened here was they scored... Then Billy Murphy scored. Then they scored. Then Ryan Wintle again scored. Then Junior scored. I thought we'd stolen the game there to make it 3-2. But they then scored a last-minute goal after Junior made it 3-all. Again, really good play with the players. We're just letting in too many goals, actually. That's kind of the big problem right now. 
After that, we played against Notts County. And again, we got a draw. And it was 2 all. This time, they scored in like the first 20 minutes two goals. It was 2 0 for ages. And it didn't seem like we could get back. The players kept going. They kept playing really well. It looked like we were going to score. And Aaron Williams scored a goal. And then Wintle scored in the 89th minute. Wintle, once again. I, I don't know where this lad's been. He's been great since he's come back. Then we played against Wimbledon at home. And again, a draw. So four draws in a row. Now, for our situation, you know, a team that wants to try and survive in this league, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. We're stopping other teams from getting points. And we're slowly just keeping up. So it's not too bad. Not as many fans for this game. Only 1,750. Billy Murphy scored an 82nd minute goal to equalize. Again, another game we got a last minute goal that kind of saved us. We've done that quite a lot this month. So not a great month, but a pretty good month. And we're keeping up with the mid-table. So I'm very happy with this team. Wintle has been an absolute legend in the one month he's been here. But today we're up against... Newport. Now, Newport are one place above us in 13th. Um, they've been kind of stuck in League 2, not having great seasons, apart from last season where they came 7th. They predicted to come 18th, so this could be a game we could possibly win, I think, or just lose. It really depends. Ryan Wintle, though, is the key player for us. Sadly, he will not be able to play. Ryan Wintle came down with some sickness. We couldn't play the last match. I think if it was, I, was, yeah, I think I don't think he could play the last match where Billy Murphy scored, and he's still not recovered today. So juniors up front, uh, Hunter and Bruce are both also a little bit tired. We've had a lot of games very close together, but they're going to still play. Bob Bruce has been pretty good actually. Um, Ashton, of course, Sarpong is back from his injury. He came on last time as a substitute, but now I'm going to put him in as the first team player because Billy Murphy's a little bit tired. Kouyev's there. He's not had a good first few games, but I'm hoping he just needs to get back into the rhythm of things. Danball's a little bit tired. We have no one that can really take his position very well. Batten's had to come in because Monfi is tired. So you can see Leyland's also tired. Barnes is in there. A lot of our team are extremely tired right now. A lot of close games together, so the team is not exactly what we'd normally have at this moment in time. Dale Eve is going to be the goalkeeper. Um, he's only played the last two games, letting three goals. But I'm giving him a good chance now because Kitschka did have 10 games, letting 18 goals, only one clean sheet. So, you know, Dale is going to try and prove to me in the next 10 games which one of them deserves to be our first team goalie. Looking forward to seeing which one. Hopefully it's a good competition where they can both perform and uh, perform better because of the nice competition between them. Apologize if you can hear from the background. My dogs are, like, playing handsy. I, I don't know what they're doing. They're, like, putting their hands in each other's mouths <laughs> on the wood. So I apologize for that. I might have to get them to stop. Uh, your decision to drop Manny Monfi has caused a bit of a stir. Why have you left him out? Uh, he's just been rested. What's the thinking behind the inclusion of Jack Batten instead? Um, he's been after more regular action. He trained well this week. Yeah, and deserves a chance. Both teams come to this one in a spill, a spell of poor form. I wouldn't call it poor form. We've done lots of really good results. Draws against those teams are really good. No comment. I don't really care what you think about that, to be honest. So here we go. We're playing away at Newport, hoping to try and get some points. Get a win. It's been quite a while since we had a win. That Bristol Rovers game was the last time we actually got a win. So we really need a win to get back into the kind of the stream of things. I think if we lose a game here. That would be really bad for morale after all those draws. Though the draws obviously were good results. I'm hoping that doesn't put our players off. Because it really shouldn't. I'm just about I'm gonna go hit oh, I should probably put it on to extended. Almost forgot that. I'm just gonna go and hit my dogs because they are really annoying me. <laughs> They're distracting me all this time. Doggies, hey, no. Stop it. Stop playing with each other's mouths. It's weird. You shouldn't do that. What weird puppies. There we go. The goalkeeper, I think, managed to hit it out. Though Newport still have the ball. Okay, foul there by Mazier, but looks like no card. But it's a free kick. What could happen? And they hit it in. I Okay, foul by them. That, oh, thank you. When it, everyone stopped playing, I got really worried just then and thought it was possibly a foul by us. But they've got another corner. What is this? Is this corner? FM corner? 
What is this? Okay. Okay, their goal kick. Nothing really happened. Barnes has the ball. Barnes has not played first team football for quite a while. So I'm a little bit worried about him. His sharpness is not there. But when he has played first in the past, he has been good, you know. He's not a bad player. Junior, though, has been on fire this season. Kuya, though, Bruce. <gasps> Junior with a lovely, nice, powerful shot there. Like I say, he's just been on fire this season coming into this league. You know, seen, you know, considering the team we are and what we expect, he has been great. I think he's actually on the list of top goal scorers. He's like fifth, maybe. So he's not very high. A lot of players have been scoring quite a few goals as well. Um, Hunter, I think, is actually on the assist list as well. I think he's like fourth on the assist list. So that's really good for Hunter. You know, the, we, he was a player that we started with. We started with him in the National League South. So to see him being able to get to this level is really nice. Like I say, I, I keep saying all this, but it just is. There's no, there's no way to describe the journey we've been on apart from in these ways. I have to keep talking about it because it still just amazes me we've managed to do this with, with the players we have. Like, getting a team from, you know, the National League South to League Two is not obviously a massive thing. A lot of people can do that, and a lot of teams do do that. But it's just the fact that I have not been able to do as much to the team as I'd hoped. We never get enough budget, I hope, to be able to do enough upgrades to the team. So I'm always surprised that we manage to still make it up with the players that we have here. Billy Murphy, Dan Ball, Hunter. How are they still here? But they just perform. That's it. You know, you can't always take the stars into account. It just shows, I'm sorry, it just shows the stars are not everything. It's about the player themselves, their mentality sometimes, about all their stats just coming together to make a good performance. Now, they're really hitting at the door at the moment. They've only got five shots and we've had three, but it feels like they're having a lot of shots there. Was that offside? Yes, Viner getting a nice little goal there from the free kick. That has put us above Newport, I expect. Hunter there with a the free kick. Batten, I think, gets ahead to it. And he gets it right to Viner. Look at that. Batten making a difference. Batten's another one of those players as well. I keep going on about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. As long as those guys are on my team, I'm going to keep going on about it. Bruce now. Loving the fact we're getting youth players as well into the team. You know, Ashton, Bruce. That That's a real football team. A real football team needs to be getting new players in. Needs to be having their old players, the stalwarts of the, the, the team that brought them up here. But also being allowing youth players that actually get a chance. So in a way, actually, us having money problems when it comes to wage has actually, I think, probably been good for the team. Most likely. And now my dogs are attacking me. Sorry if you, they keep knocking the table now. Stop it, puppies. Stop it. What are you doing? Silly puppies. Okay. I'm back. I'm concentrating. Kuya. Junior. Oh, Junior. If they could just make it 2-0... I think we've got this game. I think we got it. If we can just make it 2-0 before half time. Up to Sarpong. I love having Sarpong back in the team. I always trust to have him there. Well, when I say, sorry, when I say trust. Uh, trust is an, an odd word to say for Sarpong. I trust him in the way that he'll defend. Not in the fact that it'll be good for the team or that he won't get too many yellow cards. And now the puppies are fighting. What are you guys doing? Guys, come on. You need to concentrate on Bash right now. Not on each other. Butter, bubble. Stop it. I'm going to miss a goal, aren't I? Ah, oh, Okay, I didn't miss the goal. <laughs> Got worried then. I looked around and saw them. They was in a good position to shoot. Okay, now they're kissing. These dogs are weird. They're fighting. They're putting paws in each other's mouths. And now they're basically kissing. Weird puppies. Uh, we're doing well so far. Yep. I definitely agree with that. Sorry, sorry about the dogs distracting me. Um, it, it doesn't. You guys know it doesn't normally happen. I try and be as professional as I can, but it's hard to do that when you've got noise in the background and when you're doing live commentary and you don't want things to distract you, puppies. Stupid puppies. You don't want anything to distract you and make noises in the background because that can ruin the audio because you guys might be able to hear it. And no one wants to hear weird snuffling noises from dogs. Or do you? I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe some people like that. How am I? I mean, a lot of people like lots of different things these days. A lot of people like weird things these days. I have no idea. Hopefully, you guys at least like the football manager. But it's looking okay so far. We might just bring on some new legs because obviously everyone's quite tired from the, the run of games we've been having. Maybe bring on Manny. Yeah, I think. Oh, for Zach. 
Zach's looking motivated, though. You know what? Let's leave him on for a little bit. Bob Brewster should come off. We'll bring on Ryan Wintour, because I want you guys to see him. See him in action, because he's got 82. He can come on for a little bit. Shadow Striker. And Sarpong probably should come off. He's got that yellow card. He's had a bit of a workout. He's got his sharpness up. That's what we needed him to do, you know, because he has been out of the game for a little bit, actually, you know, about three months or so. So it'd be nice to get him just back to his normal sharpness. Okay, yeah, the dogs are actually just kissing. You guys are bloody weird. What are you doing? They're not making noise now, but they're just, like, putting each other's mouths in each other's mouths, you know. Like, when... Okay, I don't... I'm just going to ignore them now, because it's, dis it's distracting me too much. Okay. Uh, here we go. Okay, this is now thrown for them. 63rd minute. This is dangerous now. They get a goal now. They could still win. This is a dangerous time to let the opponent score when you're 1-0 up. Because then it could go... That could give them the momen momentum. And then they could be really... Have the morale and motivation to go and score a second goal. Know what you want. Okay, they don't get thrown. Let's change the defender. He's looking so motivated. He wants to play so badly. But I have to take him off. Manny, come on. I'm sorry. You, you got tired legs. I know he's motivated. But that means he's also tired as well. It, just because he's motivated does not mean he's going to play well. He's going to make mistakes. He's going to be tired. We need to bring on Monfi. Hopefully not made a mistake there. Hopefully Monfi can do it. If he makes a mistake and lets in a goal, I'm going to be very upset. Okay, I might just have to go really defensive right now. I, I, I always say that, and I never do sometimes, and then I lose the game. I, I bet you guys are shouting at your screen when I do that. I can imagine. Please don't let them score. Please? Oh, good job. I think... Did Eve hit the ball over? I couldn't tell if he hit the ball over or if the ball just went over. That was a really weird shot to be able to tell what was going on. And here we go. Another corner. 82nd minute. Let's go. I'm ready to push contain. As soon as these are over. But it, okay. No, it, con it continued. Please don't score now because I just clicked contain. I just clicked it now. And you son of a... Offside, offside, please. It's not. It's an own goal by Monfi. Are you kidding me, Monfi? That's it. Overload. I'm a very... Monfi, I said that. Why did I take Viner off? Viner was off. Ugh. I don't know what to say, guys. That was completely my fault. We're going to get another bloody draw or another loss, possibly. Thanks to my stupidity in trusting Monfi. Why did I trust him? Why do I trust any of these players? Okay, he's going to pass it up. Thank you. That should have been a goal for them. That should have been another goal, definitely. There's no ifs and or buts. They should have scored that. Okay, Eve now. We've got three minutes left. There's a chance for a goal, but... I, I don't know. I don't know where it's coming from. They're the ones on the attack. They've got so many players in the middle there. If he'd passed into the middle there, we would be dead. Doggies, stop it. Butter. Bubbles, stop. You're ruining everything. You're ruining everything, puppies. That's it. Stop fighting. Junior now, with the ball. Passes it. Into Wintel. See, Wintel I would normally trust, but... I don't know why he shot from there. It was obviously never going to work. Two minutes left. Wintel's got the ball. Kim now. Wintel. Oh, don't know where he was going with that. I guess he's trying to get to Ashton. Ashton now with the ball. Ashton's probably a bit too tired now. We're quite away through the game. He never has the best fitness. And they've now got the ball in a dangerous position. And they bloody... Are you I said that, didn't I? I said if they scored, we're going to be in danger. I... That's what I get for taking off Viner, isn't it? And being distracted by puppies. This was my... This was my, uh... My punishment, I guess. I can't believe after all those draws, we still do not have a win. And we're about to lose a game. That's going to destroy our morale. I'm going to be kind of worried. We're six points away from the relegation zone. I think we should be fine. Please, guys, get a last-minute goal. There's still one minute left. There's still one minute left. I know you can do it. Okay, 40 sec 30 seconds left. Barnes, get it up to Wintel. Wintel, Wintel, you've done so well. Why is this game the one when you do badly? Same with Monfi. You've done so well this season. Barnes, 
Ashton. Ashton, good job. He gets it past, but then he shoots. He shoots. Why did he shoot? Ah, I'm never going to know the answer to that. And that is the end of the match. Sadly, it is a loss when we were in a winning position. It's all my fault. I've got to. I've got to take it. I've got to take that loss there. Apologies for the terrible match. There, we're now down the fifteenth. It's pretty close though. So all, all this league is pretty close actually when it comes to the points. So we could go up and down at any point. Now look at that. All those people with fifteen points now. But yeah, we're now five points away from relegation. Still looking pretty nice. I hope that hasn't put you guys off. Hopefully not. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And next time, hopefully, these puppies will stop fighting. Stop it! Stop fighting! They went from kissing to fighting. What is wrong with what is wrong with them? And uh, our next time, I will trust Vi um, Vi Vi Vinan. I will.